What are you looking forward to in 2021? Uh, I am looking forward to becoming an Olympic gold medalist. I hope that the Olympics can still be held in a safe and efficient manner this summer. Uh, but I'm just looking forward to going to Tokyo. I've never been to Japan, uh, getting my chance to make a third Olympic team, and then going out there competing at my best and hopefully bringing home a gold medal. How has wrestling prepared you for a professional career? I think wrestling has taught me everything I know. I started wrestling when I was six years old. Uh, so 26 years I've been in this sport. I've met my best friends through it, um, my mentors, coaching staff. I met my wife through the sport of wrestling. So everything that I've known and everything I've grown to know has been developed in the sport of wrestling. So I'd say uh, it's just the greatest sport in the world in terms of character development and character building. Um, I've been refined in so many ways. I've learned discipline, I've learned commitment, dedication, uh, perseverance, consistency. All those things uh, have been established just due to all the work and the effort that I put into the sport of wrestling. Perfect. How do you think being an elite athlete impacts success in the business and entrepreneurial world? I think wrestlers are just tough. They're motivated, they're disciplined, and they know how to get things done. Um, despite the odds, we are used to dwelling in discomfort. We are used to working with a team. We are very coachable and humble in that way. So I think that that makes wrestlers really good in any form of life. Uh, like Dan Gable said, right? Once you've wrestled, everything else in life is easy. So because we've put in so much work in our sport and this endeavor, I think that anything that we go into, we can kind of go into with the same sort of tenacity and, and fervor that we have in wrestling. So I think it'd be easy for us. What is the American dream to you? Uh, the American dream to me is, is freedom. It's freedom. To, despite race, socioeconomic status, sexual preference. It's being able to do, um, be a contributor to society. It's being able to live a life of freedom, to love who you want, to have access to resources, and to have a life in which you are excited to tell people about. I think that's what America represents. That's why I'm so excited to represent this country. If you look at our Olympic team, it's one of the most diverse, if not the most diverse team in the entire world. We've got people from all walks of life, all creeds, all colors, all cultures that, you know, come together to represent the Stars and Stripes. And so the USA on the front of our singlet is much more important than the last name on the back of our singlet. And I'm just so thankful for my time spent on Team USA. And I think that I've been afforded the American dream to step out there on the mat and do battle with a, an opponent from halfway across the world and to be able to stand on top of the podium with our frag flag raised higher than all others and hear the national anthem played, that's the American dream. Have you ever heard of Elk Grove Village? I have not. I have not heard of Elk Grove Village. Are you excited that they are sponsoring USA Wrestling? Yeah, absolutely. I, I'm poor. I'm biased, right? I'm partial to USA Wrestling, but I think that we are very good stewards of finances. We. Um, delegate our resources really well and it is not being squandered so any money or financial support that's given to USA Wrestling is going to be spent wisely and efficiently and all the athletes are going to use it to pursue our dreams intently so I think it's a great thing. And last question any message for the people of Elk Grove Village? Uh, thank you guys thank you so much um, for your help thank you for your contribution uh, for your generosity it's going a long way. I think you guys donating has really shown um, just how big the Olympic movement can be, but also understand that you guys are coming alongside of us on this journey. You're now a part of this journey with us. And so we're super excited. Um, it's easy to let yourself down. It's hard to let your country down and it's hard to let your team down. And knowing that we have people like you behind us um, motivates us and inspires us to go on and put out our best every time we compete. So thank you guys again. And, uh, to competing and wrestling in Tokyo.